Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about candidate elimination algorithm. So here in my previous video I discussed about finders and uh, generalization and specialization algorithm. Please see that one so that you can understand this better. So here the steps we, uh, we consider in eliminating the candidates is first is we have to generate positive hypothesis set yes. Okay. The steps involved here is first step we have to generate positive hypothesis yes. Next is we have to generate negative hypothesis G. Okay. That is we are doing generalization and specialization here. Here we are considering only the positive instances. Whereas here in generating negative hypothesis we have to consider both uh, the positive and the negative. Negative instances for uh, hypothesis generation. So next is generating version space. Version space means here we have to combine both this positive and negative hypothesis and we have to generate a set of combination of uh, uh, consistent hypothesis we say that is the version space. So the hypothesis which will satisfy both positive and negative instances after combining this S and G. So that is what our expected consistent hypothesis is. So here to generate that the, for the procedure here is first we try to generate the positive hypothesis set yes. So here to, here we, uh, we start with a specific hypothesis. So first what is our specific hypothesis? How do we represent our specific hy hypothesis? It will not match anything. So specific hypothesis. And if you see this table, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 attributes you have. Okay, you have 6 attributes. Uh, 6 are independent attributes. And the last job offer column attribute, it is a dependent attribute. So here CGPA, interactiveness, practical knowledge, communication skills, logical thinking and interest. So the training data set has six independent attributes. So based on these parameters, whether the student is going to get job offer or not. So the model has to predict whether the student is going to job offer or based on this input uh, attributes what we are going to give. Now how we are going to train your model. So here uh, what I should do first I have to generate my positive hypothesis. I will try to construct this in the form of a tree structure. So at the top I will start constructing the positive hypothesis and from bottom I will generate the negative hypothesis and in the middle combining both I will try to generate this version space. Okay guys. So hope you understood how I am going to start this uh, solving this problem. So since I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 so attribute values. So here in my specific equation also. I have to include six symbols. We write like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So I am starting with a specific hypothesis to generate this uh, positive hypothesis. Okay. So now what will be my S1? See this is my instance 1 and this is my instance 2. Uh, sorry. This is my instance 1, row 1. This is my row 2 and this is my row 3 and this is my row 4. So totally I have 4 samples. So we call it as 4 instances. So now I have 6 attributes. <coughs> so I have taken 6 pi symbols here. Specific hypothesis. Each represents the attributes which will not match any of these things here. Now I have to generate my S1 now. How to generate my S1 hypothesis? See whatever they have given here instance 1. That is CGPA is greater than or equal to 9 and interactiveness is yes, practical knowledge is excellent, communication skills is good, logical thinking is fast, interest is yes. So here all these attributes, whatever I have, just I will copy it to S1, hypothesis S1 here now, after reading the instance I1. So that is what my, my first hypothesis gets generated here. So CGPA is greater than or equal to 9. And second attribute is yes. And next I have excellent. Next I have good. And fast. And it is yes. And also if you see my uh, job offer here. My input instance is also yes. In positive hypothesis we consider only the positive instances. We ignore the negative instances while generating the hypothesis. So here we have to consider only three instances with positive instance yes, 
so generate the hypothesis if you find no negative instance you have you should just ignore it so the description for this is already given in the generalization and specialization problem solved in my previous videos please i'll provide the link just you can refer to the problems so here this is what our uh, hypothesis s1 generated okay so now this is my s1 now see my s2 now how, next is i have to generate my hypothesis s2 to generate the hypothesis s2 see the second row in second row you have greater than or equal to 9 here here you have yes see to generate the next new hypothesis s2 you have to see the instance i2 and you have to compare with the previous hypothesis s1 and if the same symbols are there just you have to ignore it and if you have different uh, uh, instances values means you have to put the question mark here okay and here also you have greater than or equal to 9 in s1 hypothesis and instance 2 also you have greater than or equal to 9 so when you have the same we can't do anything just you write it as it is now you have yes here and here also you have yes just write yes itself you have excellent here and here the attribute value you have good when the attribute values are different opposite one instance is good and another instance is excellent then to generate the hypothesis we should put the question mark next attribute if you see you have good here also you have good so write that attribute as it is here it is fast and here also it is fast so write as it is fast here it is yes and here also you have yes so write that attribute as it is okay so it is a positive instance since it is a positive instance I am generating the hypothesis. Now this is my S2 generated for the instance a job offer yes. Okay. Now I have to generate my S3. To generate my S3 hypothesis, I should see my S2 hypothesis. This instances should be compared with my I3 instance. With this row, I should compare I3 and then I have to generate by comparing with S2, I have to generate the new hypothesis. But if you see the instance I3, here you have no negative instance. We should generate uh, hypothesis only for positive instances. But here you have no, that is a negative instance. So whenever you see the negative instance, just ignore. Ignore that and copy whatever S2 hypothesis is there. The same thing will be copied for S3 also. So here my S3 hypothesis will be same as S2 itself. So, I am going to copy that as it is. It is greater than or equal to 9. Yes. Question mark. Good. Fast. Yes. Since it is a negative, I need not compare. So, just copy whatever you have as it is. Next, go for the instance 4. Okay. That is I4. Now, I have to generate my S4. Yes to generate my S4, yes Okay, I have to compare my instance I4 with my S3. Okay, and if both the instances are same, just copy it as it is. And if they are different, instant values means put the question mark. Okay, now you compare S3 with instance 4. Here also greater than or equal to 9 and here also greater than or equal to 9. So put that same instance as it is. Here it is yes and here also yes. So put yes. Here you have question mark. And here you have good here. So question mark and good is nothing but question mark itself. Next you have good here and here also good. So put good there also. And fast here. And next you have here slow. So attribute values are different. One is fast and another one is slow. So when you see different attributes, put question mark. Next you have yes here. And again you have no there. So yes and no, different attributes. So put question mark. So this is our new hypothesis generated S4. S4 is our new hypothesis generated. Okay guys, uh, so here this S4 will satisfy all these four instances. You take any four, uh, compare, if you compare this S4 generated hypothesis will satisfy any of these training samples given. Yes means it will give yes, no means it will give no for this hypothesis. Okay guys. So this is one step we completed. Our second step is we have to generate the negative hypothesis G. Now to generate this negative hypothesis, we start from our general hypothesis. This negative hypothesis will consider 
both it is nothing but it is a specialization it will consider both positive instances as well as the negative instances positive means it should predict uh, true and whenever it sees a negative instance it has to give the prediction as no itself so both it has to predict like how we ignored here uh, in the first case we can't ignore here so we have to consider both now i'll start writing my generalization from the bottom so that i can combine both the s4 and the g4 in the middle that is for generating the consistent hypothesis so my general start with the general hypothesis here our general hypothesis always starts from the question mark so i have six attributes so i have to put six question marks here okay so now here question mark indicates what it can be anything the instance can be anything either for either uh, yes value or no value or greater than or equal to 8 or greater than or equal to 9 it can be any value it will satisfy it will generate uh, it will generate the job of a yes or no whatever the inputs can be okay next is i have to generate my g1 general hypothesis g1 okay now here again the same procedure copy the first instance the first instance is what you have greater than or equal to 9 yes excellent good fast yes so to match this this generalized hypothesis itself is sufficient so it can be question mark it can be anything the instance can be anything if you have yes it will say yes if you have no it will say no so here whatever might be the attribute values for g itself is same as g1 so g1 will g1 also will have the same hypothesis set which will satisfy our instance i1 okay next you compare uh, g2 to generate g2 compare instance i2 with g1 even i2 also you have here positive instance yes here so it is greater than or equal to 9 yes good good fast yes so here the same hypothesis question mark itself is sufficient to satisfy this instance i2 so my g2 hypothesis g2 also will be same as g1 itself the same hypothesis can be used so we are putting question mark question mark question mark here okay the same hypothesis c2 also will satisfy for i2 next consider the third uh, instance i3 now by seeing i3 i have to generate g3 hypothesis 3 now i have to generate this hypothesis g3 here like a by a by i have to observe this instance i3 and i should compare with g2 okay then i have to generate a new hypothesis if i see my g3 here the instance is no okay so here what it is greater than or equal to 8 no good good fast no and my job offer should be printed as no model has to predict as no so it is a negative instance so whenever you have a negative instance it should say no for that but my general hypothesis g2 if i see for any instance it will say now yes okay for any of the instance if i use this it will say yes but now the model has to predict as no now what are the now what i have to modify my g2 hypothesis so that i should get g3 and the g3 is a hypothesis in turn should satisfy g3 as well as all g1 g2 so like that i have to generate the new hypothesis so to predict this as no to predict this as no now you see our our instance here i have here what greater than or equal to 8 okay if it is greater than or equal to 8 then the model predicts it as no so to predict it as no okay to predict it as no otherwise what i have to do instead of greater than or equal to 8 if i give it will predict it as yes and yes whatever i input i am giving is correct but i want it to be printed as no so instead of greater than or equal to 8 what i should use i should use greater than or equal to 9 take the opposite of that one so that you will get the negative instance itself so one hypothesis just if i change one attribute greater than or equal to 9 my hypothesis will be same like it will give now if i use this hypothesis it will give me no itself okay then what is the other possibility now i have no instance here what are what are the possible attributes you can generate similarly you see here you have no and here greater than or equal to 8 and here you have greater than or equal to 9 you have to see the previous i2 also since we are seeing here g2 so both are different so to get opposite i am giving here greater than or equal to 9 and if you see the next instance i have no here in i3 
and previously in my i2 i have yes okay for i2 it is yes but now i have here no and my g2 how what i should modify i can modify this attribute also now here so here i am adding one more additional attribute here so i am adding let me rub that so that i can uh, write here okay fine so now one more hypothesis gets generated because we have no here and we have yes here and i i, I can't put here question mark to generate the new hypothesis i want opposite of this so for this no i am taking it as now yes so question mark followed by yes question mark question mark question mark so this hypothesis will again give you no itself so you have to generate set of all possible hypothesis which will give you no okay next you observe i have good here in i3 here also i have good and here also we have question mark here so good and good same attributes leave it as it is we can't generate a new hypothesis again observe here i3 i have good and here also i have good i cannot generate new hypothesis leave it here also fast and here also fast i cannot generate new hypothesis leave it and now if you observe here for the negative instance i have no here and i have yes here in my i2 so i should compare my i2 as well as g2 to generate the hypothesis so since i have no here i want to print it to be as no so instead of no if i put yes i i can satisfy my g2 as well as i can satisfy my g3 so the new hypothesis get generated here is question mark question mark question mark question mark question mark, question mark. followed by the last one that is yes okay so now for g3 we got three hypothesis generated next uh, i have to check my instance i4 so read i4 and i have to generate what is my g4 so totally for g3 we got three hypothesis okay next i have to generate my g4 now to generate g4 again read i4 compare i4 with g3 okay next see which of these three uh, can we reduce this or we have to add something we have to compare i4 and g3 and we have to generate the g4 so when comparing again you have to see the instance i3 also and if you see here this 4 four, 4 through if i see it is a positive instances i want to print all the hypo the hypothesis what we are going to uh, select it should print it as yes as well as it has to uh, satisfy the third second and first instances also okay now if i see my uh, g3 here i have greater than or equal to 9 here here also i have greater than or equal to 9 so here this same hypothesis will satisfy even my fourth instance also so i'll copy this hypothesis for my g4 also so greater than or equal to 9 followed by question mark so it is satisfying so i am copying it and next you see the second one i have question mark followed by yes rest of the thing here also you have greater than or equal to 9 yes yes so both are matching here so this attribute this hypothesis is a useful hypothesis so i will copy that hypothesis here okay now see the last hypothesis i have last instance here yes and here i have no okay i have yes here and i have no here so it means that this hypothesis i cannot copy because if i copy this yes means i'll get here as no so my model will give me wrong result so i cannot this is an inconsistent hypothesis the third one is an inconsistent hypothesis so i cannot select this one so for g4 we selected only two hypothesis which will satisfy g3 g2 g1 as well as g4 okay guys so now totally how many hypothesis we got now in s4 we have one and in g4 we have two hypotheses and g3 we got three hypotheses so try to write like this in the form of a tree structure while uh, writing the candidate elimination algorithm because we have to show both uh, s4 and g4 here okay now we wrote like this and last is we have to obtain the version space so here the next is we have to generate the version space now we have to take the combination of both s4 and g4 and we have to merge 
So after merging, you will get a set of hypotheses. That is the final uh, version space what we are expecting. That consistent hypothesis set we have to generate. To generate this consistent hypothesis set, now again compare, compare our F4 and G4. If you see here, you have your greater than or equal to 9 and here you have yes. Okay, you have greater than or equal to 9 here. That CGPA and here the second attribute you have yes here. Here also you have greater than or equal to 9 followed by yes. So it means that you can combine these two hypotheses and you will get a new hypothesis that is greater than or equal to 9 yes followed by question mark question mark as this. So this is one hypothesis generated and next I have here again uh, how, what are the hypothesis I can compare I have to check here now. I can generate a new hypothesis this greater than or equal to yes question mark can be combined with this also. I can combine greater than or equal to uh, question mark yes with this good also I can combine here. I have good here two attributes I am combining here now. So here I can write question mark yes followed by question mark good question mark question mark. I am combining both the hypothesis now. Okay, then what is the next possible hypothesis I can generate? I can generate one hypothesis like this uh, greater than or equal to 9, one more combination. For yes, we wrote same using good and greater than or equal to 9, greater than or equal to 9 and good. These three also can be combined. So I am generating one more new hypothesis greater than or equal to 9. You have question mark, question mark, good, question mark question mark. So what I did, I merged G4 and S4. After merging G4 and S4, I got a set of hypotheses like this. Okay, after merging, we got a set of hypotheses like this. So after merging, you got like this. All the three we merged and possible hypothesis we wrote here. So this is what our uh, final answer is. How to generate the version space. So this is the consistent hypothesis. All the three what we have generated, this is the consistent hypothesis which will satisfy this training data set for both positive and negative samples. Okay. So this is candidate elimination algorithm. Hope you are not understood. So to understand this better, please refer to my previous videos on generalization and specialization. So in depth I have explained this. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as every subscription is more important to me now. Please uh, uh, click the subscribe button and click the bell button. Thank you all.